What's up everyone? This video is on ordinary hazard occupancy. Ordinary hazard occupancy is going to tell us a couple things. It's going to give us our maximum protection area of coverage, which tells us how far our heads can be spaced apart. And it's going to tell us when we can use a quick response fire sprinkler versus a standard response fire sprinkler. Let's start off by going over our maximum protection area of coverage. NFPA 13 made tables for each style head that can be used in ordinary hazard occupancy. These tables give us our maximum square footage and our max distancing for heads. Let's start off by going over the most commonly used head, the standard spray upright and pendant. Let's take a look at this example to see how max distancing on ordinary hazard works. 10 times 13 is 130. So I space these heads 10 feet by 13 feet, which is 130 square feet. And that's the maximum square footage for the standard spray upright and pendant in ordinary hazard. Then you would use NFPA 13's installation requirements the distance from the sprinkler to the walls shall not exceed one half the allowable max distance between sprinklers. So depending on the direction of the spacing, you can see in our example, in the distance going 10 feet, we can't be any more than five feet off the wall. And in the distance going 13 feet, we can't be any more than six foot six off the wall. Other tables include the extended coverage upright pendant the standard spray sidewall, and the extended coverage sidewall. Ordinary hazard occupancy breaks into two groups, group one and group two. As you can see on our hazard classification chart, ordinary hazard group one is moderate on quantity of combustibles, low on combustibility, and moderate on rate of heat release. When we go to ordinary group two, everything across the board goes to moderate high. So let's break down the details, starting with ordinary group one. Ordinary hazard group one, combustible lows and rate of heat release are low to moderate. Some examples are parking garages, kitchens, mechanical rooms, storage rooms, in stockpiles of combustibles do not exceed eight feet. With combustible loads and rate of heat release low to moderate, that is gonna give us the ability to use the quick response fire sprinkler head in ordinary hazard group one. This head is going to keep temperatures lower, increasing the chance of survivability and escape, just like we would use it in light hazard occupancy. I have more details on this coming up after we go over group two. Ordinary hazard group two. Across the board, you can see it goes to moderate high on combustible loads and rate of heat release. For this reason, we're gonna use the standard response sprinkler head. Take a look at this picture. You can see a fire in the corner, but all the sprinkler heads are going off. This has been proven to happen when you use a quick response in ordinary group two or extra hazard occupancy where combustible loads and rate of heat release are on the high side. And the theory is too many heads going off at the same time taxes the system's pressure, causing it to be less effective on controlling the fire. So when we use a standard response head, the right amount of heads go off in the correct locations, proving to be better at controlling and putting out the fire. Let's take a look at some examples of ordinary hazard group two. Retail stores, warehouses, loading docks, storage, Stockpiles of contents with moderate rates of heat release do not exceed 12 feet. If contents have a high heat release, storage will max out at 8 feet.
All right, that covers Ordinary Hazard, Group 1 and 2. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.